YouTube, my name is Mesa Sean, and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. Alright folks, it's Tuesday, and you know what that means. Time to go over the weekly reset for the week of June 18th. It is Iron Banner this week, and also we have a new quest that will be through Lord Saladin and the Iron Banner. It also is Increased Valor. So if you're looking to get your Valor rank up, this would be the week to play some Crucible or Iron Banner. Also, some quick housekeeping, guys. At the end of the video, I will be giving away a set of Astro A50s. These are the new ones, the completely revamped fourth generation Astros. They just unveiled them at E3 and they are amazing. I just got a set about a week ago. Now, if you want to enter the contest, stay to the end of the video. If you would like a discount on any Astro gaming products, we'll click the link in the description. Before we get into the full reset and go see Lord Saladin at the tower, let's talk about this new quest. So, this season's Iron Banner armor is now acquired through a quest. Each armor piece will be granted upon completing its associated quest step. Each armor piece will be granted as a powerful reward. After unlocking an armor piece, it may be reacquired with random rolls through Iron Banner reputation packages and post-game match rewards. If you are a veteran player who earned Iron Banner ornaments in the past, this season's armor is compatible with all Year 1 Iron Banner ornaments. Iron Banner packages also, they have been updated. Iron Banner armor may now roll with enhanced perks. If you are looking for enhanced perks on your armor, guys, this would be the week to grind out some Iron Banner. New weapons have also been added to Iron Banner packages and have a higher chance to drop on the first package that you redeem. New Iron Banner shaders, an emblem, and a sparrow may be earned through objectives that must be completed during Season of Opulence. Iron Banner bounties will continue to grant rewards and Iron Banner tokens. Iron Banner bounties no longer unlock direct purchase for Iron Banner gear as it is now acquired directly through the Iron Banner quest. Alright guys, let's get into the full weekly reset. So we'll check in with Lord Saladin first before we get into everything and he's got the initial quest step which is right here called Test of Strength. Now if you want to know what all the other steps are, I will put a link in the description to light.gg. It has all of the steps there and thanks to Timesplitter01 for finding that for me. But it's got all the steps. But the initial step as a team earn points by defeating enemy guardians in the iron banner we've got some new shaders here iron bone we've got iron gold and these take uh, 40 tokens and we've got a new sparrow called the pace setter take a look at that thing that thing looks pretty cool and it will probably look even better messing around with some different sh yeah all right this thing's gonna look really cool when you start messing around with the shaders all right i like that sparrow that's cool we've got an emblem and you've got the associated triumph that you need to complete season seven iron banner triumph season seven iron truage all right we've got our usual bounties here and these uh, should give you all powerful gear plus some iron banner tokens but remember all of the armor pieces as i uh, described before will be unlocked through the different uh parts of the quest moving along with the weekly reset let's check out what the modifiers are for the menagerie so you get a powerful drop and I always forget guys is it per character or is that account based that you get a powerful drop from your first uh, piece of gear that you get from the menagerie when you slot your chalice all right this week it's going to be solar burn all right perfect uh, blade barrage and also sunbreakers and also well of radiance will go handy this week these two daily modifiers uh, they will change daily we have grounded today so damage taken while you're airborne is greatly increased and you have brawler so punch a lot of things because melee abilities deal more damage and recharge much faster Faster. For the Nightfalls this week, we have the Warden of Nothing, the Tree of Probabilities, and the Exodus Crash Strike. For the Nightfall Strike exclusive loot for Exodus Crash, we have an exotic sparrow called the Impact Velocity. For the Tree of Probabilities, we have a pretty cool static hand cannon from year one called the DFA. And the Warden of Nothing, you've got a hand cannon called Warden's Law. And if you get the curated version, it's pretty good. As usual, here is how I set up my cards so that you do the Nightfall just one run and you will get a hundred K score easily. I set it to no handicap whatsoever. I put a burn on and then I go with match game. I go with extinguish and I go with either blackout or grounded. That's completely up to you. Um, sometimes, yeah, you know what? I'll stay with blackout and just make, no, actually I'll go with grounded more often.
often than not. Blackout gets annoying sometimes because you don't have a radar. But extinguish, uh, make sure you don't wipe because you will go back to orbit. And match game, just make sure everyone in your fire team has one of each burn to take down shields. If you don't have that, it will get annoying. But set your card up this way and you'll definitely get over 100k score on your first run and get two powerful drops. For the daily heroic story missions and also your weekly vanguard strikes, uh, the burn is going to be solar this week. And again, the two modifiers that will change daily will be grounded and you have brawler so break out those solar weapons do three of these and you will get powerful gear and do three strikes and you will get some more powerful gear if you were looking to farm any of the escalation protocol weapons uh, this week the boss will drop all three of the weapons the sniper the shotgun and also the SMG you do not need to open up the final chest you simply need to kill the final boss you could farm him over and over and then pray that you get the weapon that you want the flashpoint this week is located over on Mars so simply complete public events maybe do some lost sectors and normally I would say do a heroic uh, adventure but mine is not showing a heroic adventure for some reason I will have to investigate and report back in the description and pin comment normally the heroic adventure will give you about 30 to 35 percent of your flashpoint and once you get that completed go back and see Anna Bray and she will give you a powerful drop let's check out the gamut playlist and uh, first we'll see what the burn is for the reckoning all right we have void singe so for me I like to use graviton lance uh, we have Prism. I don't like Prism. <laughs> Prism is annoying. For the daily modifiers, we have Prism and we have Brawler. So simply do a number of Reckoning runs and you will get powerful gear. The higher the tier, the faster you will complete this. For Gambit Prime, do four matches. And for good old old school Gambit, do one match, you will get powerful gear. Do three matches, you will get powerful gear. But before you do that, go see the Drifter and he will have a weekly regular Gambit bounty that will also give you some powerful gear. Once again, in any Crucible playlist, but you might as well get it done in Iron Banner. Just do one match, you will get a powerful drop, and also five matches, you will get powerful gear. I'm about uh, 747 right now. Uh, what am I right now? 748. All right, so I'll definitely hit 750 this week. Make sure to go check in with Soraya Hawthorne once you've completed your clan XP per character, but also as your clan also levels up, uh, you will get some other powerful drops. So I would, I, I usually open that up on my least powerful character. So this week that will be on my Titan. All right, and also complete 20 bounties. You will go see Ikore and you will get some powerful gear. I usually go to the Spider and do all of his bounties because the Spider over on the Tangled Shore, he's got the easiest bounties. Bounties. He also will have a wanted bounty that will also give you a powerful drop. Over in the annex, let's go check out Benedict and see what his bounties are this week and if they've changed at all since last week. Well, as usual, you've got your consumables. Uh, you could pick this one up, Rune Finder, which will increase your chances of getting runes from strikes, crucible matches, and gambit matches. The wealth of the emperor. These will reset on Sundays. Right now, it's glitched where every Sunday the barge, the treasure barge, over on Nessus resets on Sundays. We don't know when they're going to fix that. All right, for bounties, whoa, okay, this one's a new one here. We need Cabal, Vex, Hive, Taken, Scorn, and Fallen Defeated. You will get a powerful drop, and you will get some Imperials, and also you should get a treasure map. Here we have daily bounties completed. Complete da oh wow, complete gambit daily bounties. And I was hoarding Vanguard bounties for this week because I thought it was going to be that. All right, you're playing a lot of gambit if you want to get this one done. Uh, we've got let's see, defeat enemies with class abilities. You need to get uh, let's see, ability final blows 100. All right, that's easy. And then treasures collected. Collect lost treasures by defeating enemy combatants anywhere in the system. So all of these look like they give you powerful gear. You will get a legendary rune, and also you will get some imperial and it should be a treasure map for you. While over in the Annex, you might as well go see Ada One and make sure you grab some of her bounties if you're looking to do any of the forges this week. The two weekly bounties here, one is just simply ignite a bunch of forges, the other is completing some of these daily bounties. And you can forge two weapons per week and they will be powerful. If you have more ballistic slogs, you can only do two per week. And also, uh, you might want to stock up on some of these bounties here if you have extra mod components. Uh, especially if you're looking for something like Rampage Spec, or maybe even Dragonfly spec. I know for me personally, I am going to be trying to hoard some uh, Rampage spec mods because uh, I think I only have like one or two in my inventory. And also in the Annex, we've got the good old Drifter. And as I mentioned before, with Benedict99 for that one bounty, grab as many Gambit bounties as possible. And you'll need to complete a bunch of these daily. And then you'll get that bounty completed for Benedict99. Here's the weekly bounty if you want to get a powerful drop from a regular Gambit. And then these are all the Gambit Prime bounties. And the top one here, just pick one of these depending on 
depending on which set you want, and you will get a headpiece that will be powerful. Okay, Petrovenge is located right by the spawn point over on the Dreaming City, and let's go see what she's got this week, and it should be the usual because it is the week two of the curse. All right, she's got the Oracle Engine story mission for powerful gear, War for the Dreaming City, complete eight of the daily bounties, you will get powerful gear, the Ascendant Challenge for some powerful gear, and you have Gateway Between Worlds, which will give you an offering to the Oracle. Also, you might want to grab some Raid Banners if you want to use those in the Menagerie. And also for the Ascendant Challenge, this week it's located over in the Chamber of Starlight. And uh, it's a real simple one. I will link a video in the description where I go through it. It's a real simple one. It's basically run and gun. You're going to be running, running, running. Running, killing a ton of ads, running past shriekers, running past ads if you can, and then make your way to uh, some bosses. You're going to have, no, actually, a boss. You're going to have a bunch of knights chasing you from behind. Just keep running away from them and make it to the end, kill the boss, and you will get your powerful drop. Also, I just want to show you really quick, guys. So, this is the best uh, Ostringer. Is it Ostringer or Ostringer? I'm calling it Ostringer. That I got. And no, I don't like the ornament, actually. Um, this is the best one that I have uh, had dropped so far. And I I'll be farming this tonight. Uh, I got Rangefinder, Outlaw, Accurized Rounds, and we've got Corkscrew Rifling. And I'm trying to get one, obviously, because I would use this more in PvE. I'm looking for one with Outlaw, Accurized Rounds, uh, a better barrel, maybe, and also, of course, a Rampage. Because um, Kill Clip, I think, cannot roll on this thing. But I'm enjoying the Menagerie, and also, now that I've finally upgraded my Chalice, uh, I want to go for the Heavy Machine Gun this week. So expect a video probably later in the week of my best roll and all my menagerie weapons as well as I want to do a top weapons that I'm uh, gonna be holding on to leading into um, season 8 for Shadow Keep. Lastly let's go check in with Tess Everest and see what she has uh, in terms of what she's selling this week anything interesting all right we've got some uh, silver items here what is this? All right, this is for the Darcy. And actually, that looks really, really cool. And that will cost you a cool 700 silver. Real money. All right, we have Digital Ops for the uh, Mita Multi Fool. All right, I like the way that looks. And that's uh, 700 uh, silver. We've got the uh, Gyro Shell or Euro Shell. All right, that looks really. Yeah, well. well all right, if you're Greek, you would say Euro, right? I'm from New York. I grew up in a Greek neighborhood. We say Euro. All right, this is the Gyro Shell. Or I'm calling it the Euro Shell. That's a really cool looking shell. All right, I like that. And that's uh, 600 silver. All right, what is this thing here? The Mother Load. All right, that thing is ugly. And I'm not stepping a foot near that thing. I'm not stepping near that thing. All right, and that's uh, 800 silver. All right, what else we got here? If we scroll through, let's go to the next set right here. All right, here's all the other stuff that you can buy with silver. Anything new from last week? Nope. And remember, guys, we're going to check out the stuff you can buy from Bright Dust because some of this stuff will show up and you don't have to pay uh, silver for it. You could buy it with Bright Dust. All right, so a number of things here. A number of ornaments for legendary weapons. Anything exotic here? Yeah, these are two ornaments for the, uh, let's see, for the Shards of Galanor and for the Syntheseps and also for the uh, Aphidia Spathe. All right, what do we got here in this section here? The Archive. All right, yes, yeah, so this is all the old stuff right here. I bought this one here just because I think it looks amazing. You've got your Thunderlord and your Whisper of the Worm and your Last Word uh, exotic ornaments. But for Bright Dust, what can you buy? All right, we've got, ah, see right here, look, Shards of Galanor. Let's take a look and see what you look like. All right. So I am buying you with Bright Dust, and I do not have to use silver. All right, we have uh, an exotic uh, sparrow here, the Grateful Crane. All right, looks pretty cool. What do we got? Custom Drive, uh, a random mod will roll with it, and Destabilizers. All right, pretty cool looking. And let's see, the Chalice Projection. I like you. And let's see, what do you look like? That looks pretty cool. I think I am going to buy that. All right, we have a shader here. Let's see what you look like. Actually, you know what? My character is all mixed match. Okay, that's that's pretty ugly. I don't like that. What about this shader here? Atmospheric, uh, atmospheric glow. That's kind of cool. That's uh, kind of gambit looking. Yeah, if you have the gambit set piece. All right, also, these bounties here will count towards your uh, Ikora Ray uh, 20 bounties. All right, guys, that's the end of the video, but let's talk about this Astro A50 giveaway. Here's what I need you to do. Uh, be a subscriber, leave a like on the video, and leave me a comment. Leave me um, a comment of something that you are really enjoying about the uh, season of opulence. It could be anything. It could be the raid. It could be uh, the menagerie, uh, a particular weapon you like from the menagerie 
story or from the raid, whatever you like, just leave me a comment in the comment section. However, you also need to follow me on Twitter, at MesaShawn. And then in your comment with whatever you like about Season of Opulence, also what you want to do is leave your Twitter handle. So leave me a comment about something about Season of Opulence, leave me your, your Twitter handle in that comment, and then by the end of the week, I will pick a winner, and then I will DM you over on Twitter, and then I will have Astro send you a fresh set of the Astro A50s, the new ones, which you are going to love, guys. I haven't tested them out yet because I've been using my Astro A50s, and I'm sorry, my Astro A40s with the mix amp, and they re they totally revamped those. Those are the Astro A40 TR Pros, and also the uh, mix amp Pros, and they redid the not only the mix amp, but also the speakers, the headset, um, they redid the microphone, everything sounds better about them. So they did the same thing with the A50s according to the videos that I've watched and uh, I'm probably gonna fire them up today even though I don't use wireless headsets for the most part. So I'm babbling guys because it is the end of the video so leave me a hashtag made it to the end if you did make it to the end and do me a favor, drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on Twitter at MesaShawn, check out my stream, usually know it's on YouTube and that's it. I am out of here like Vladimir.